On the other hand, there are many who believe that a narcissist's worst dread is a super-empath who has been healed. People who truly love themselves are able to establish boundaries with both themselves and with other people. What is important to them, what they will not give up, and what they want out of life are all things that they are aware of. People that are exceedingly understanding are difficult for narcissists to interact with. When a narcissist's artificial, shame-driven self comes into contact with a genuine person, the situation almost always ends in a negative way for the narcissist. We appreciate you returning to the Narcissist Exposed channel after your absence. In today's post, I will discuss five different ways in which a super-empath might cause harm to a narcissist. If you are interested in this topic and would like to acquire additional knowledge, you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel before we begin. Getting the word out about abuse committed by narcissists can be facilitated by your subscription. We are going to watch a reaction video together and then have a conversation about how a super empath may completely demolish a narcissist. There are five ways in which a super empath might once again make a narcissist feel safe. Getting a narcissist to reconsider their sense of entitlement is the first step. When a super empath questions a narcissist's behavior without showing fear, they are able to remove the narcissist's sense of privilege. Narcissists believe that they are entitled to anything they desire, regardless of what other people may think or feel about them. On the other hand, super empaths, who are unable to tolerate being treated unfairly, confront this arrogance head on. Over the course of this conflict, the narcissist will lose all of their power and control. 2. Having the ability to recognize manipulation. It is quite easy for super empaths to recognize the strategies that narcissists employ in order to achieve their goals, such as engaging in passive aggressive behavior or pretending to be innocent when they are not. Narcissists frequently take advantage of empaths due to the fact that they are kind and compassionate but it is difficult to coerce super-empaths out of their generosity. They have a clear understanding of what the narcissist is doing and are able to respond with composure and clarity. The narcissist is prevented from leveraging their empathy against them as a result of this. The third step is to destroy the narcissist's sense of self. Super-empaths have the ability to destroy a narcissist's ego, which is the narcissist's fabricated sense of their own self-worth. A narcissist is someone who believes they are superior to other people and who desires to be admired and accepted. The fact that super-empath consider all people to be on an equal footing means that they are not hesitant to call out the narcissist's shortcomings and anxieties. This open and honest discourse has the potential to prevent the narcissist from being cruel, and if they do not change, the super-empath will continue to reveal them who they truly are which will cause their ego to be broken. 4. Super-empaths are unconcerned with the viewpoints expressed by narcissists. An extremely empathic person is aware that a narcissist is mentally immature and does not take what they say to heart for what they say. They get the impression that the narcissist is an adult who still possesses immature feelings and who is dishonest, who places blame on others, and who engages in other unacceptable behaviors. If they choose to disregard these techniques, super-empaths will not be negatively affected by them. 5. Super-empaths have a strategic approach when dealing with narcissists. When it comes to dealing with narcissists, those that are highly sensitive and empathic are the most effective. They are prepared to accomplish this goal because they have a strategy and are aware of the typical behaviors of narcissists, such as shifting credit or playing the victim. For the purpose of revealing the narcissist's actual nature, super-empaths meticulously record talks and carefully arrange how they would reply to them. They play it like a game of chess and are highly skilled at preventing the narcissist from making any moves. Learn the steps to become a highly sensitive empath. How many of these suggestions have you implemented in order to make things better? What steps are you taking to put an end to your self-centered habits? Please share your experiences in the comments section so that you can assist those who are looking for assistance. If you are not already a super empath, let's talk about how you can develop your sense of empathy. A powerful empath should first take care of themselves, 
heal their own traumas, and establish their own personal ideals and limits before attempting to assist other people. If you are to treat yourself with kindly, you will earn greater respect from other people. How to assist other individuals in feeling genuine empathy? Is empathy a special quality that only a select few share? Or is it something that can be acquired by anyone? The reality is that high empathetic abilities can be developed by an individual of any age. There are many persons who are capable of having empathy. Having qualities such as sensitivity, thoughtfulness, kindness, generosity, and openness to other people are characteristics of a super empath. Anyone can make an effort to develop these characteristics. A great number of people who are empathic have experienced a wide variety of suffering and difficulty in their lives. In many cases, individuals who have a profound understanding of one another take this shared experience with them. What we went through as children appears to have played a significant role in shaping who we are today. Certain individuals, such as narcissists, are responsible for the triggering of trauma patterns in a significant number of us. It is probable that if our parents were self-centered, we would respond to unfavorable people in a manner that is comparable to how they did. What you need to do in order to develop into a super empath is to do this. Learn what went wrong, how it affected you emotionally, and what you can do to improve your life right now by figuring out what went wrong. Unquestionably, this is a challenging task. To do this, one must make a plan, maintain consistency, and live with a purpose. Despite this, the effort is well worth it. It is necessary to deal with problems that people don't typically discuss if you want to develop your capacity for empathy to a high level. It is also very crucial to establish boundaries on the amount of money that you offer. You won't be able to continue giving because there are certain people who will keep taking until you are absolutely exhausted. Create your own boundaries and make loving yourself your first priority. Love yourself first before you can truly love other people. This is a prerequisite for love. This is the fundamental aspect of growing better. What it takes to become an ultra-empathene. Where do you plan on getting this done? You can improve your feeling of self-worth by being more familiar with your self-concept and the person that you truly are. Besides your interests and your profession, give some thought to the things that you believe in. Which type of person are you, exactly? After you have responded to this question, you will acquire the ability to embrace all of your imperfections and accept yourself just as you are. Genuine acceptance of oneself is of utmost significance. If you have completed this task, no one will be able to cause you harm or use your wounds as a weapon against you. You are going to become more powerful in the face of their efforts. In order to become a super empath, also known as a healed empath, one must undergo this transformation. If you found this to be helpful, kindly offer your feedback. You are really welcome to be here today. Soon, I'll be talking to you. For the time being, until then, let the repair process start and we will proceed.